Welcome back to another episode of Who's On First, and I'm your host, Dwayne. And I'm Jason. And before we start, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're almost to our goal of 500 subscribers. Uh, we thank you guys for, for your continued support. Thank you guys for just watching all the content, sharing it. You guys have all been great. But let's get to it. The biggest news... Um, so far, <laughs> yeah, so far of the baseball offseason lockout, whatever you want to call it, the Hall of Fame voting went down, or the the finale of it went down yesterday. Yes, the the lone participant or the lone uh, entry, I don't even know the lone the lone wolf. <laughs> yeah, the the lone uh, person elected to the Hall of Fame was the, David Ortiz. The, the the lone poppy. <laughs> so big poppy was big elected. Poppy. To the Baseball Hall of Fame, which is dope. Congrats to Big Poppy. But yes. that wasn't the biggest headline or the biggest reason why baseball was trending on Twitter and social media. It seemed like all day yesterday once this announcement came out. It was the people who were left off the ballot for the final time. I'm just going to go through the list of people. Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, Kurt Schilling. Uh, those are the three noticeable. Sammy Sosa as well. Those four... Uh, in their 10th and final year. I'm going to go through the actual voting percentage for those four. Uh, if you guys don't know, the Hall of Fame, you need 75% to become a Hall of Famer. Um, David Ortiz got 77.9%, so clearly he's a Hall of Famer. But uh, from him down, Barry Bonds was the next closest with 66%. Roger Clemens was behind him with 65.2%. Kurt Schilling had 58.6%. And Sammy Sosa had 18.5%. So, obviously, a lot of things have been said and a lot of opinions have been brought out about Bonds, Clemens, people like that missing the Hall of Fame. But what do you think about Barry Bonds in his final year not making the Hall of Fame? So, I I was surprised. I I felt like uh, he was going to get in based off of, like, a punishment. Like, hey, you cheated, in quotes. So... We are going to punish you, and then that last year, because you are the home run uh, king now, and uh, yeah, so I felt like it was a snub. I I do believe, like we've said it before, we feel like he both we both feel like he should be in. Right. Uh, what I was really surprised about was where Alex Rodriguez ranked in the voting. He ranked in at thirty four percent. Ah, but. You want to know two people that were ahead of him with 41% were Andrew Jones and Gary Sheffield. Mm -hmm. So that was my real question when I saw the voting updates. What do you feel about that with Alex Alex Rodriguez, who supposedly was like a lock uh, pre-scandal, as you call it? How do you feel with Andrew Jones and Gary Sheffield beating him out? What does that tell you? Uh. What year is this for A-Rod? This is this is first. This is first year, right? I look at this. By the tenth year, I guarantee he's going to be a Hall of Famer. And it's, oh yeah, definitely. It's just for the simple fact, and I'm going to get into this when it comes to Bonds. Uh, it's for the simple fact that he did a great job towards the end of, basically after his career, by doing his great media tour and becoming a part of the media, becoming a, a broadcaster with ESPN and Fox and different media outlets. And as soon as he became a part of the media and he started to play ball, it seems like just all the, is forgiven. The saddest thing about this to me when it comes to someone like a Barry Bonds is we've talked about it before. Probably the greatest hitter we've ever seen, like and actually seen, you know, yeah. with with our eyes. Actually saw the game literally change because of him. Like the numbers he was putting up from 2000 to 2004, 2005, it's video game stuff. Like, yeah. it, it was absolutely ridiculous. And I've already said this before. Steroids do not help uh, pitch selection. It doesn't help hand-eye coordination. It does not help plate discipline, all yeah. the things you, you need to be a great hitter. It doesn't do any of that, right? So for the hit king to be out of the Hall of Fame, which is Pete Rose, Home run king to be out of the Hall of Fame, which is Barry Bonds. Uh, the most Cy Youngs, which is Roger Clemens, to not be in the Hall of Fame. Is it legitimate? Yeah. Like, is the Hall of Fame even legitimate anymore? And I know a lot of people, um, they have their opinions. You know, a lot of people feel like, oh, these people, quote unquote, cheated. So they shouldn't be allowed in. But 
if we're going to do that, it needs to be consistent across the board. And yeah. that's, that's my issue with this, because however you feel about David Ortiz, and I think we both agree now, should be in the Hall of Fame. Of course. I have no issues with him. Well, it just is just I was looking up his postseason stats, and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I think he, he should just be in for postseason. Right. Like, he's one of the best hitters, best DHs ever, one of the best clutch hitters ever, right? Every time the spotlight was on him to do something, he did it, right? Yeah. However, he was also a part, you know, and I've seen a lot of people online saying like, oh, but we don't know exactly what he tested positive for and blah, 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 and X, Y, Z. However, he was on a list, including the same people yeah. <laughs> that you're saying shouldn't get in. Because Didn't it say- like a test in like when he was in Minnesota, right? Right. Yeah. So the same people you're saying that took steroids and shouldn't be on it. He was on that list as well. To me, if you're going to do that, then he shouldn't be a Hall of Famer if you're going to do that. Like, so it's clear that the agenda is who do we just like more? Yeah. And to me, that's bullshit because it's it's a it's 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 like society today. It's just let's we don't care about the person's history, about the person's background. Do we like that person? Oh, we do like that person. So they're absolved of all wrongdoing. 